Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Here we go. In this video you will see in which direction the price of Litecoin has moved recently. Additionally, you will find out what the technical indicators SMA, Stochastic RSI and MACD are predicting about its price and future movements. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. Looking at the Litecoin hourly time frame, the price moved only slightly to the downside with around 0.6% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 49.8. Looking at the hourly simple moving averages, the current price is between the 200 and the 20 SMA. If the price bounces off the 200 SMA which is currently at 48.7 it could be seen as a support and the 20 SMA that is at 50.1 could be seen as a resistance to the upside. Breaking either way signals a possible further move to the corresponding direction. Pointedly, the current price is above the 200 SMA, which is perceived as a strong support. Nevertheless, if there were to be a decisive downward dip, it will signal a possible big move down. Jumping to the hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the lower region, which means that the price is getting oversold and soon a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation could be expected. The trend has shifted upwards because the K line is currently located above the D line. Moving to the hourly MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. However, the MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently shifting to the upside and it could be expected that the price will consolidate for some time and you should wait to see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. Looking at the three hourly simple moving averages, the current price is between the 50 and the 20 SMA. If the price bounces off the 50 SMA which is currently at 49.5 it could be seen as a support and the 20 SMA that is at 50.2 could be seen as a resistance to the upside. Breaking either way signals a possible further move to the corresponding direction. Looking at the three hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the lower region, which means that the price is getting oversold and soon a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation could be expected. You should wait to see if there will be an upward trend to the crypto because the K line has not yet crossed the D line. Moving to the 3 hourly MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently indecisive so consolidation for some time or shifting the momentum could be expected and it is to wait to see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. Moving to the daily simple moving averages, the current price is between the 50 and the 100 SMA. If the price bounces off the 50 SMA which is currently at 49.5 it could be seen as a support and the 100 SMA that is at 51.1 could be seen as a resistance to the upside. Breaking either way signals a possible further move to the corresponding direction. Looking at the daily stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are located in the higher region. This means that the price is high due to overbuying and a change in the trend, or at least some kind of consolidation, can be expected. The K line is currently located below the D line, meaning that there is a downwards trend. Looking at the daily MACD, seeing as the MACD line is above the signal line, meaning that the trend is currently on the up. But according to the MACD histogram, we can see that the momentum is going down. Owing to this we can expect the price to remain stable and you should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be a downward trend. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching and know that every few hours new videos are uploaded analyzing different cryptocurrencies, so be sure to hit subscribe and not miss out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you ASAP. Also, keep in mind that you should make your own investment decisions as cryptocurrency trading is very risky and these daily videos are only an overview of trends and are a purely technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. See you next time. time.